G'day, I'm Mark Berg and welcome to another week of Fishing Addiction. This is the show that surprises fish shows all over Australia with incredible fishing adventures. Now we've just driven up in the D-Max uh, from the Gold Coast up to Caloundra on our way to Bundaberg where we're going to get on a mothership, Big Cat, and go out to the Great Barrier Reef for 10 days. It's going to be epic. Now here at Caloundra we're going to a little cafe we're gonna surprise a guy called Phil. Now, obviously he has no idea we're coming, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently to the way we normally do it. Come and check it out. So this is the Pie Vista Bakery Cafe where we're gonna do the surprise. These guys are all in on it. Come and have a look what we're gonna do. So we're gonna put up some cameras sort of all around the place. And I'm gonna be very, very casually be sitting down at one of the tables. Now, Phil's daughter actually works here at the cafe. And he's coming in to pick her up from work. And when he does that, you know, he comes in and has a coffee. And when he does that, I'm just gonna be sitting there casually at the table. Hopefully he recognizes me. We'll just have a bit of a conversation. And then I'm gonna let him know that he has won a fishing adventure of a lifetime. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's just check it out. Hey guys. Hi. We're here. We're getting ready to do this surprise. Yeah. You look very excited. <laughs> now you're Phil's daughter, right? Yeah. He doesn't know anything about this? Nothing. Nothing? No. Is he just gonna love this or what? Oh, he will, he watches you guys all the time. Okay. Does he? Yeah, all the time. All right, well, we're gonna strategically place some cameras around the joint. Yep. And uh, so you reckon 1.30 he's gonna be here? Yes. You sure? Beautiful, hopefully uh, he actually doesn't see the camera up there. And luckily we got a camera guy that's six foot eight, <laughs> can climb poles. Oh, it's gonna be funny. I think you'll notice that big camera, yeah. I think you need to hide that big camera. <laughs> yeah, that's him. How you going, mate? Yeah, good, mate. What's going on? Not much. I'm talking about you. Oh really? There we go. Oh really? Yeah. Oh there you go. This is Bergy. Oh, I'm serious. <laughs> she's like ah. Hello. So <laughs> she has no idea probably. No, she's got no idea. Yeah. Got no idea. Hey. What are you doing in this part of the woods? Oh we're about to head north. I'm just doing a um Gonna do a shoot up there. Yeah, going fishing as we do. Sorry, mate, I gotta take this. Good to meet you, brother. All the best. Hello. Yeah. Fake phone call, fake phone call. He has no idea. See that? He said he saw the blue eyed Susie. We'll just wait. We'll just wait. We'll just wait. <laughs> we played it down. He's. No idea now that it's for him. None whatsoever. Oh yeah, he's gonna go. Alright, as soon as he sits down, I'm going home. Do not pick up that camera. Sorry, can I interrupt? While I'm here, can I? Sorry to interrupt. Sorry. Just a quick question. Um, um, we're looking for a street around the corner. I think it's um, O'Reilly Street. Yep. Do you know how far where, where that is? We live there. Yeah. <laughs> what? And you live in O'Reilly yeah. Street? This, this is a dead set G up. Come on this over, is boys. A <laughs> this is a G up. I swear, this is a dead set G up. Hey, you Phil. <laughs> we got you a beauty, mate. Oh, man. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. This is a dead set G up. You had no idea, did you? Oh. <laughs> and we're only just talking about this like half an hour ago. Hi. Dead Hi. We've been talking on the phone all week. Do you know how hard it is? There you go, you're oh, loving it, are you, buddy? My heart is going like a thousand miles an hour. Stand up for me. Stand up for me. <laughs> Mate, you've seen the show, obviously. Oh, dear. Oh. We're here to take you 
right now. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got like we're going. I'm not we're going in the no, no. That's all been sorted. Work has been totally sorted. Really? It's all sorted. Come on over. Come over, guys. Oh, oh hello, mate. Hey, what's your name? I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to be going fishing tomorrow as well. No, no, no. <laughs> You're going fishing with me, mate. Uh, so I guess we're not going tomorrow then. Oh, we got relays here as well, mate. Come on over. So I'm here to take you in the blue D Max that you saw parked yeah. there. We're driving up to Bundy. We're getting on uh, Big Cat Reality, the mothership. Yep. And we're going to the Great Barrier Reef for 10 days. Oh, so good. Can I what do you reckon? Oh, we got him. That was awesome. Phil is, I guess, a person I would describe as someone that does a lot for others. Um, we've been together 20 years, so. Um, yeah, every, every day he does stuff to help other people. Um, and he puts everyone else first, is probably what I would describe Phil as. Yeah, yeah I thought this was a G up. This is a dead set G up. Everybody, everybody's in on it. And I still can't believe it, hey. It's, you know, I'm used to, I'm used to catching whiting and, and, and flatties and flappers and, uh, and brim. This is gonna be next level. <laughs> this is gonna be great. This lovely lady here has rang all your bosses because I know you work three different jobs. Yep. And um, while you're doing your study and so forth, and uh, she got it all sorted. And without you knowing, she understood how important it was. And mate, uh, it's happening right now. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and then of course, everyone here at the cafe, they were all in on it as well. He thinks he can't, he's coming with us. Sorry, buddy. I'll take you next time, mate. Yeah, too deep in that spot. You'll be right, man. All right. So, mate, instead of uh, going home and getting stuff, I'm just going to chuck you in the D-Max with me now. We'll shoot off to your place, grab the gear, and away we go. So now is your chance. Say goodbye to everybody. Cool. Give him a kiss. Thank you. Oi. See you, kiddo. Say bye, daddy. See you, dude. See you, I'll see ya. Yeah, get, get out of here, Dad. You're now ungrounded. You've done well. Ungrounded. <laughs> hey, that's one way to get out of it. Good on you, Mum. All right. All right. See you. See you, monkey. You'll be All right. right. Jump in, mate. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Love you too. Let's go fishing, bro. <laughs> See you guys! Hooray! Fish on, baby! You got a beautiful family there, brother. Oh, I'm hot for my. Oh, it's it. I can't believe it's happening. No, it is. It really is. We jumped in the Isuzu D-Max and made our way to Bundaberg, where we were boarding our mothership for the week, Big Cat Reality. We jumped on Big Cat and settled in for the night for our trip to Swain's Reef. With a promising weather forecast for our first day out here at Swains Reef, we set out in high spirits. Back, Bill. Have fun, bro. Lots of fun, eyes. Have fun. Ooh, yeah, have fun. Okay, so you just let it go a bit early. Remember the bail arm's got to go over before it hits the water. Now watch me, and I'll whip it. I'll whip it good. Holy mackerel. All That's right. what you want to be doing. Oh, I can feel it thump. Oh yeah, fish off! And gone. Just got blown away. What Don't know. Completely blew me away, whatever it was. Oh, a bit too early again. Mackerel just ate, just took, took the lure, brand new lure gone. First cast. Again. Thank you, mate. Round two. Oh, fish on it. Oh, look, big GT. Big GTs. All over it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> he <laughs> launched at that no thing. Idea. What is in full, mate? <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah, you're gone. Oh. All right, coming up with you. Move to the front. That was massive. It's gone. He <laughs> just took that thing. All right, where are we? We're just going that way. Go and move around a bit more to go. Oh, yep. On. Wow, this is a small fish. Wow, you got to be joking. <laughs> a little red throat. Too small. <laughs> Amazing the size of the lure to the fish, eh? Yeah. All the happiness. Third of, its, third of its body size, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, we got a fish. All right, should just flick off. See you, buddy. Off you go. Fish on! Yes! It's good fish too. Oh! Drive us out. Far out. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna just drive that. That's it. Hit the pressure on, that's all you can do. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, come here, sunshine. Oh, how's that drag? Hang on. Yeah, pump and wind. Pump up, wind down. Woo! <laughs> come here. Pump up, wind down. Good job. Had to happen, this spot oh, just looks electric. It's a big fish, bro. Oh, <laughs> oh, uh oh, wow. Yeah, it's got power. You'll find it easier if you get that left hand up there and more leverage. See that? Oh, that's better. Yeah, okay. Up. Oh, better than whiting, I can guarantee you that. <laughs> oh, oh, could be a big flatty, mate. <laughs> oh, tell it go home. Oh. He's going to swing the boat around, so he'll come back around this way now. Yeah, that's it. Oh, no! Oh. That's a monster. Wind it up. Oh, no. Oh, man, we've had some bad luck today. Wind her up, mate. Let's see what happens. Oh. Oh, he's on it. Oh, he still wants it. Come on. There's a pack of them. Oh. <laughs> that was cool. I'm trying to. I've gone straight over the top of where he was. That was sick. You see it go across in front of it? Yeah. It's just... There wasn't just one. There was like oh. three or four of them. Like a pack of them going after. They weren't big. Oh, they're lively. Yeah, that's that's at least a, dip, a meter and a half, so we should be right. Oh, Tell look at them cruising on the surface there, mackerel. Or is it Trevally right next to us? <laughs> Oh. Oh. Oh, two of them. It's a pack attack. <laughs> go, Phil, you're on too, mate. Keep going. Yeah, there, go go on. On. Oh, yes. Woo. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> yes. yes. That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> Well, there's a pack of them in there. They're not big ones, but... Oh, I ain't gonna let this one get away, eh? Famous last words. Come on. Too many today. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Where do you want to go, Bergy? I'm gonna go under you, mate. Yeah, man. Thank you. Colour. I'm right behind the boat, mate. Spin. It's 
stay there. Oh, there's there. a mackerel cruising by. Oh, come on, get off that prop. No, no, no. Oh, not a shark. Come on. Whoa. Oh. Touch that leader. Right, bring you down here. Oh, mine's a nice one. Like rainbow, right? Well done. Touch that leader. Woo! We got it. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Well done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, he's a bit bigger. Come around this way more to me. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's a bag of cement. That's 20 kilos. Oh, that's a cool fish. All right, thanks, buddy. You can go back in. The way he goes. Right, pick yours up, mate. Oh. All right, that's one of the new Venom lures. Oh, nice fish, mate. Half a bag of cement. <laughs> yeah, about 10 kilos, but it'd be PB for a GT. Oh, every, every fish is a PB around here for me, eh? Oh, good on you, buddy. Spear him back in, and then we're gonna have a chat. See you later, champ. Good on you, mate. He's how, off. How was that? <sighs> Doubles on GTs. <laughs> that was awesome, wasn't it? Now, the bonus for you, my friend, is we've got the fishing addiction challenge to set, and that is... You need to catch 15 different species of fish. Now you've probably seen the 15 species challenge many times. Yep. Uh, this is the place to do it. This reef has about 400 billion ooglies, and when we start bottom fishing, I think you're gonna do it quite easy. However, these beautiful new venom wheels that are just coming out, there's three different ones that we have with us today, um, and for the rest of the week, you need to catch at least three of those 15 on a venom lure. Right. Mate. You just caught one. Easy. Look at that. Done. So one's ticked already. So you've got two more lures to go, and you know another 14 species. Yep. Five thousand bucks worth of gear from Dicko and all the boys at Wilson, just for you. That's awesome, eh? And then another two thousand dollars worth of gear from AtticTackle.com.au. That's my tackle store. We're going to give it to you at seven thousand bucks. Excellent. Combined, that's a lot of gear. It is. It is, and I've got to work hard for it. So. How's the arm? It's uh, it's sore. It's sore. Yeah. It's only day one. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Do you want to do that again? Oh, yeah. This is living, eh? This is great. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Woo! All right, there's yours. Let's do it. Um, it was unbelievable. Like, words can't describe the, the feeling of catching a, a monster. Well, I thought it was a monster of a fish. Um, and yeah, it, it was just excellent. It um, opened my eyes up to what the reef has to offer. And yeah, it was, it was great. It really was. Oh. Look. Come on! Big plate coral down here. Psycho. I like it. Look at all the bait. Come on! Oh, God! Oh. Man, they're on it, they're on it! Yes! yes. All right, I've got to get us out of here. Ah, don't keep whining. Just keep whining. That's all you got to do, whine. There's about 15 of his mates trying to get it off him. Oh. <laughs> Come on, son. He's only a pup, so it shouldn't oh, be too Oh, a fish bad. is a fish. Oh. Just hold it there. Just hold it. Oh, my heart is going. Okay, now pump and wind. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. He's out in the open. He's not a big fish. You're fine. Nice little Trevor. There we go. Should be able to just lift him in. Oh, don't pull him out of the water. Keep his head in the water. <laughs> we just got one single in the corner of his mouth. And what have we got here? I think they'd probably call this a tea leaf. Nice oh. little Trevor. Just freeze pull for me, mate. There you go. Look at that new venom lure in the corner of the mouth. Cool fish. First reefy. Ha 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 ha! Well done, mate. Oh, let's put him back. Fix it. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah! Straight away. You're on. Yeah. Oh, GT, that's for sure. Whoa! Mm. Oh. Mm. Go the burgie drag. Oh man, last time we were here, we got out these Zaplin, Zerig Zaplin stick baits. And I kid you not, they were so good. And I thought, oh well, go okay, throw another one of them on. Well, that's about my fifth cast. And straight away. Oh. 
It's not a monster, but uh, good start. See if we can get a fish in the boat, eh? Oh. oh. <laughs> Look at the bait fish go. Flying fish. <laughs> Boogie drag nearly pulled me in. Oh, go, son. It's one angry fish. I'm gonna lead him out away from this uh, bit of reef into deeper water. If he allows us to. Head thumping in the current. Oh. He's yeah, certainly going in the right direction now. Back off on the drag. The deeper we go, we just back off the drag a little bit. The deeper a fish fights, the more drag pressure it puts on naturally. So sometimes it's not a bad idea just to back it off once you get into the deeper water. There's colour. Oh. He's a bit under, mate. I should be able to. No, I got him here, I got him here. Yeah. Oh, he's only a little fella. Rodeo. Wow. Only one hook in. Wow. Freeze pull. Nice way to start. A oh, ho, ho, ho. wow. <laughs> now, that's not even a big one. Uh, yeah, oh, he's wow. about maybe 16 kilos. Not a monster by any means, but still a very cool fish. Man, he put up a fight for his size. It's awesome. Happy days. The GTs were fun, although we needed to find Phil some new species. So we decided to search for a reefy bottom and attempt to vibe up a few of the exotic species Swain's Reef has to offer for our fishing addiction member. Big, look at the gari, or is that a big flutie as well? I've lost it, I can't see where I am. Oh, there I am. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. This is just great, you can see him. It's, the, it's magic. It's incredible. Oh, this, this, this spot is just like a, oh, there's a bigger trevally. It's like a nursery. We've just stuck the lure, let them sink down, and all these fish are just coming around, checking it out. They're not really feeding, they're more inquisitive than anything else. But it does bring them all together, and there's trout, there's trevallies, um, there's all sorts of weird, Reef ooglies, beautiful cut fusiliers, just unbelievable. This is the Great Barrier Reef at its best. Absolutely sensational and pristine. And one thing that's really important to talk about, really important, is that what we do here is totally sustainable. Most of the fish we'll catch, we will release. And the ones that we do take home for a feed, well, it is about, I don't know, it'd be 0.000001% of the amount of fish that are out here. And there's not many guys that get out this far and do this, so as long as we respect it, we'll be able to come back and enjoy this beautiful place for years and years to come. That is so cool. I've got a feeling that I've got your line. Hello, that was good. Not very, not very big, this, this one, one is either. <laughs> Everyone's saying it's not very big. So we're we'll probably all just connected together. Oh, this one's a nice trout. Yeah. Is it? Oh, hey. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. That'll go right between two pieces. Hey, bay! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, my lord. <laughs> so, three trout in one drop. Pretty good. So I said that oh, hang on. What's going on here? Bread. 
Now, is this too small? I feel inadequate now. Yeah, it is. Too yeah. small. I feel inadequate. It's got to go back, mate. Proudy trout trout on the fish trap yet again. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's the one we're after. That's the perfect size, perfect table size. Just gorgeous. Those incredible bluey, purpley spots are amazing. Happy days. Hey guys, if you want to support Fishing Addiction, become a member today. Uh, we really try and make dreams come true on this show and uh, with all your support, we, uh, we can do it. But the more members we have, the more trips we can do, the bigger prizes we can give away. So become part of the crew today. Sign up at fishingaddiction.com.au uh, and you never know, it could be your door that I come knocking on next. I got one too. Did I? Oh no, got a trout. Uh, that's definitely legal. All right, let's make sure. Make sure. Oh yeah, that's a better one. One down. Yes, that's what we're after, old mate. <sighs> yeah, don't rip that rod too high. Just your eyebrows. Nice bending that rod. Don't uh, lift him out of the water. Red throated emperor. Where is he? Come here, sunshine. Neck him, mate. Oh, stay there. Just like, leave him there, and Dicko will come and get him off here in a second. No. Yeah, he'll be right. Give him a second. He's trying. What have we got? A red throat. That's normally find one, you find a few more. That's all right. Yeah, nothing wrong with that fish. Hey, that's a species. Yes. Can fish. <laughs> can fish. <laughs> well, you got it on and red uh, You can see there, folks, if you want to, I'll hold your rod for you. All right, that's a, you, uh, another PB, isn't it? Absolutely. Put your other hand under his belly, hold him up so folks can know. Look at the colour on that thing. And they call him a red-throated emperor. If you have a look inside his mouth, it's pretty much red. That's a definitely a legal sized fish, an absolutely spectacular eating fish too. Well done mate, let's hold up for the boys. I see you. Oh, that's a better one. Oh, you've got to get a turn on him. Bugger him. you got to try and do it with this. this oh, there's a little. Go. Uh oh, oh, you got him. There he comes. Woo. Oh, nice trout. That's another species. Yeah, baby! Oh my go. gosh, he's so excitable. He's on a nice, uh... <laughs> oh, wow! Look at that. That's a cracker. Right down his guts, look at it. He's coming <laughs> over for dinner. <laughs> wow. We put it, that one in the esky so you can take him home for uh, I reckon it's your kids, I reckon. Sounds like a, a pretty good plan. Oh, for his kids. kids you got? Oh, hang on, we got to feed a whole netball team. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we'll think about that while we're uh, catching it. Well, that's day one of Swain's Reef. It's awesome, eh? <laughs> what, 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 what were your expectations and, and what, what's the comparisons to those expectations? I was expecting to catch some fish. Um, I was hoping to catch some fish and we did. We got monstered today. What about the physical side of it? Oh, it is. It's hard. It, 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 <laughs> it, it's, 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 it's hard to describe. I, I'm shattered. Um, I'm going to look forward to a good night's sleep, I can tell you that. <laughs> but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm keen to get back out in amongst it tomorrow night. Yeah. Uh, yep. This is so much fun. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Well, mate, out of the 15 species you need to get, you've caught four now. Yep. On day one, that's a pretty good start and one of which was caught on the new Venom lure, which is fantastic, that little stick bait. A great lure, we caught lots of fish on it today, but for now, I think it's back to Big Cat. Sounds like a plan, A Couple eh? of coldies, a beautiful dinner, 
I reckon about 7.30 I'll be out. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be too far behind you, hey? <sighs> Good on you, mate. Righto, Dicko, take us home, mate. Woo, what a day. Yeah, you can see some little showery weather around, but oh, look at the oh, light through there. That's, that's incredible. Well, this is the morning of day two here at Swain's Reef. We've got Dicko, our skipper, and we've got Phil, our fishing addiction member, up the front, ready to cast. You ready, mate? Okay, he's obviously ready. <laughs> Into it. And today, we're, the forecast is that it's gonna blow a little more. Probably 15s, 10 to 15 knots, which is not a bad thing, because yesterday we got cooked. It was so hot. This will keep us a little cooler, a little bit more bump on the water, but already we pulled up to the first reef and there's fish getting smashed just on this corner here. So fingers crossed for another great day here on Swain's Reef. Right, come up to join you, mate. Yeah, fish on. Yeah, he's on. Oh, yep. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> See it, pop him up. Good fish. Oh. <laughs> Could be another species. Let's just get it in the boat, eh? <laughs> no slack line, don't go up too high. You're bringing the rod way too high. Get there. Just your eyebrows, and that's it. Yep. You all right? Oh. What is it? What is that? That's, that's a, no. Is it? No, it's a doggy. It's a dog tooth tuna. Grab it. You got a doggy. <laughs> yeah, baby. Now watch the teeth. Holy smokes! Just no, no just cool. leave him there for a second. Just relax. That's cool. A little doggy. Shall I say it again? That's no, another... he's only a little one. That's another. We're going to count though. that, aren't we? Yeah, oh. it's got the thumbs up from Dicko. That is a PB. Woo! There you go. <laughs> Little doggy, a first for you. Every day's a first here. So we just were changing the leader on that uh, on that last rod that got done by the shark. We saw a little bit on the sounder. That's the advantage of this boat. We've got our own little sounder right on the front of the console there. And we just spotted a couple of fish. And I said, mate, send that jig down. Bada bing, bada boom. How are those teeth, eh? Pretty cool. All right, we've got to send that fish home. See you later. He's off. And what are we up to? That's number five. That will be five. Species number five in the first 10 minutes of the day. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, doggy. Woo! All right. Well, Phil, as you know, one of your uh, part of your challenge is to catch three of the 15 species on venom lures. Now, this one, mate, this has just come out of the mould. We decided to get a black texture, <laughs> give it a mohawk for Pretty you. Much, yeah. So we call him Mr. T for now. But a uh, nice big cup face popper here, good in a little bit of rough weather. And we know that there's GTs there now, so we're going to get you throw on this guy and see if we can tick another. Lure off, he might not be a GT, could be something else, hopefully a mackerel or whatever. We'll chop this thing down. Awesome, we'll you get ready to go. Oh, yeah, for sure. They look the goods, that's for sure. Right, yeah, let's get into position. Get him another one. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, he's on straight away. Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> <laughs> Smoked it! Two pops. Oh, far out. No, he's alright, he's alright, the pressure's there. It's in the gimbal. Alright, left hand higher. Pump and wine. That's it. This is great. <laughs> this is why you come up here and do this, eh? Oh, yeah, that's exactly why we're addicted to it. Yeah. My legs are shaking, eh? <laughs> I love it. Uh, I'll just sit back and watch. That's the best bit. <laughs> but I tell you what, taking someone on the show that's that passionate about it and that loves it that much, 
It's a good feeling. Very, very cool. That's what fishing addiction is about. Oh, slowly but surely, make your way down. No, that would suck. There you go. Use the gun all there, put your legs up against it. Now you got some leverage. Oops, I just turned the sounder off. Tell you what, I'm very impressed with these ATCs, these new ones. Out of it. They're going all right. They are. That's a, what size is that one? 16,000. 16,000. So that's the biggest of the ATCs that have ever been released. Um, but it's different to the other ones too, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, di it's a total different construction again. And they're fully sealed, aren't they? Yeah. Fully sealed. That's unreal. Now the drag smooth, very strong construction. Very happy with that. Yeah. Bail arm okay, that's it. Bail arm open. <laughs> Oh, this You're right, Dicko. <laughs> Alright, step up there. Look at this. <laughs> it just fell. <laughs> oh, big fell. Woo! <laughs> Look at that fell. <laughs> That's awesome. Now watch those hooks there. They be very careful. Look at that for a fish. Well done, mate. Feels like a bag of cement. <laughs> that's, that's, that's roughly your bag of cement, mate. Oh. Your 20 kegger. <sighs> Very nice fish. Wow! <laughs> you can see that venom popper hanging out his mouth like a cigar. Yeah. Mate, how does that feel? Oh, I've got um, my arms are burning. Is this the oh. biggest fish you've ever caught? This is dead set the biggest fish <laughs> I've ever caught. How hard do they pull? Hey? Oh. Yeah. Well, compared to yesterday morning, mate, to now, your fishing has gone from here to here. Honestly, you've improved so quickly. You're casting, the way you're working the fish. You deserve it, mate. Great fish. It's great. This is, this is awesome, eh? This is, you know, memories, eh? Oh, totally. Memories. Before we send this beautiful fish home, we don't want to keep him out of the water much longer. Straight down the barrel. Message to the missus, mate. She's the one that nominated you. Oh, love. Thank you. This is um, unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, I love you, Finn. <laughs> Good on you, buddy. Let's spear it in, eh? Let's send him home. See you, buddy. It's a bit of a uh, half turn, three quarter pike in that one, too. Oh, he's good, he's swimming. He's off. He's good. Yes! yes. Hornius! <laughs> do you want to do it again? Oh, or you need on. five? I just need five, mate. <laughs> well, guys, that brings us to the end of part one of our adventure here at Swain's Reef on the Great Barrier Reef with Big Cat Reality. Let's take a quick sneak peek what we've got in store for you next week. Yeah. Fish is a fish. You've caught a fish on that lure, but unfortunately you've already caught that species. So, doesn't count for the challenge. Are you confused at home? I am too. <laughs> it's got to catch 15 different species. Three of those species are going to be caught on the new Venom lures, and they have to be different species. He's already caught a coral trout on a fish trap or whatever it was. I think it could be eight. I think it's eight. Woohoo! Oh, there how good go. is that? Airborne. Airborne mackerel. Oh, yes! Did you see oh. that? That was cool! <laughs> that was wicked. So that's all next week on Fishing Addiction. Now remember, to give yourself the chance to come on the show, you've got to be a Fishing Addiction member. Go to the website, fishingaddiction.com.au, become a member, get your goodies pack, and you never know, I might come knocking on your door. Until next week in part two of our adventure, I'm Mark Berg, you stay safe, and God bless.